Okay, the directions here say to decide whether each of the following functions is concave up or concave down or neither. I'm going to have you um, think back to what we've done thus far and see if you can decide for yourself and then check uh, once you're done deciding for yourself. And so just pause the video and come back when you're ready. Alright, so um, if we look at these two functions, the way we have to decide whether it's concave up or concave down or neither is we have to look at the rates of change. So again, that means we're going to find the change in f of x over the change in x. Alright, so for the first one, uh, the change here is 2 over 1, and then the next pair is 3 over 1, next pair is 4 over 1, and the next pair is 10 over 1. Okay, well if we look at all of those, this is 2, 3, 4, 10 are the successive rates of change, so that is increasing in value. Therefore, increasing rate of change means concave up. That's what I get for trying to do two lines at once. Oh, there we go. All right, that one's concave up. The next one, all right, again, we're doing change in g of x divided by change in x. So this is going to be negative 1 over 1. The next set is negative 2 over 1. The next set is negative 3 over 1. And the last set is negative 4 over 1. Negative 1 to negative 2 to negative 3 to negative 4. Okay, those numbers are getting more negative, which means they're decreasing. So decreasing rate of change gives us concave down. Okay, and if you graphed those points out, you'd also see the same thing. All right, so last one. Um, let's see, or last couple. For this one, they give us a formula. All right, what do we do with the formula? Well, the first thing I would do, honestly, is I would graph this. Now, what is this going, graph going to look like? It's going to be a line that goes through 1 on the y-axis and has a slope of 3, which is pretty steep. Okay, now let's think about the rates of change between any two points on this line. It's a line, right? Oh, well, if it's a line, then it has a constant or an unchanging rate of change. Okay, now if it's a decreasing rate of change, then it's a um, concave down function. If it's an increasing rate of change, then it's a concave up function. And if the rate of change stays constant, then it's not concave at all. And the last one, this one would be concave down, for sure. Okay, it's got an, a decreasing rate of change. Rate of change here, rate of change here, rate of change here. That's decreasing from positive to less positive. And uh, that pretty much hits everything you need to know. So I hope those videos were helpful and uh, that you're able to feel confident in your assignment going forward. Please see me if you have any questions. Bye.